Okay. This is the most important um, video that I'm going to make. Um, it's the difference between hypoglycemia and reactive hypoglycemia. If you have reactive hypoglycemia and someone tells you you're just hypoglycemic um, and you treat it like you're hypoglycemic, it's going to totally jack you up. <laughs> Reason why, um, if your sugar's low, most people who think you're hypoglycemic, or if you tell them that, they're going to give you something with sugar in it. I mean, that's only natural, and um, that's they just want to help, and that's the that's what anybody would offer. So when you take that and you put that in your body, you're going to start to feel better, and you're going to be like, "Yay, all right, I feel better." And the only problem with that is your sugar's not going to. It's going to start climbing, and you'll start to feel better, but it's not going to stop where it should, it's going to keep climbing and then it's going to get too high. Um, and then when it peaks and it gets as high as it's going to get, then it drops drastically, really low down, probably lower than it was to begin with. And that's really dangerous. So the difference between hypoglycemia and reactive hypoglycemia is a huge deal. And I just, I really want people to know that. Um, because if you don't know that, it's just, you're just continuing to f try to fight something and you're not you know you're not you're just not doing the right thing so for real I'm like very serious about that so if you have any questions about that please let me know okay see ya